If you're watching this at the time of the recording, I bet you're wondering, what's going on with the 28 Day Animation Challenge? When is the next challenge coming out? Where have you been? Is it all over? We're gonna get to all that plus a lot more, but first off. Congratulations. Congratulations! If you've done the previous 14 challenges, you've made it halfway through the 28 Day Animation Challenge already, which is about 28 hours of step-by-step -step video tutorials as well, which is kind of crazy. <gasps> now, my question to you, even though we're only halfway through, do you feel like we already accomplished our goal? You remember our goal being that we learn far more about animation for free and faster than a four-year university and $100,000. Compared to my university self from way back, it's true from my perspective. The Spider-Verse and Thor shots alone would have been 20 times better than anything on my demo reel from when I graduated. This is the demo reel that didn't get me a single interview or even a rejection. I just got silence for like an entire year before realizing I wasn't, wasn't anywhere near where I should be as an artist. And this challenge has been 100% free compared to the 100K that I drop, let alone all the years spent getting to that level. So my guess is if you've already been to university, you've learned far more faster for way less as well. Is that the case? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective. I'd also love to hear how the challenge has helped you so far to grow as an animator. The biggest lessons, the, the biggest breakthroughs and level ups. All right, so to the questions that you probably have, what's going on with the 28 Day Animation Challenge? When is the next one? Where have I been? Is it over? Short answer, absolutely not. It's not over. Long answer, I'm expecting to finish the 28 Day Animation Challenge this year. My plan is to restart in the summer, probably in June. Why? I put the animation challenge on hold because Rustic Animator has been growing very rapidly and I've been 100% focused on the students there and mentors uh, that are in the school. So that it's hands down the best school to be a part of. Uh, that is really the priority is the students that I have and the experiences that are coming out of it. Uh, so I've had to push other things to the side at the moment. Um, and being a dad of, of two little ones also uh, hasn't made it easier to juggle uh, everything. So I figured rather than keep you in the dark, I wanted to do this video. Uh, and I thought it would be a great time to recap things and, and plan ahead, uh, given that we're about at a halfway point. And I wanted to let you know also how you can keep learning so you're not just stuck uh, waiting for the next challenge, waiting for summer to get here so that you can you can move forward. Uh, that's the thing that probably bugs me the most is I don't want you to guys to feel like you reach the end and you're stuck waiting. Uh, so I want to give you other options for learning there as well. Uh, especially if you already have, have started some of the challenges, maybe you haven't finished all of them, but you're ready to ramp things up. You're just ready to get more serious. So what are the ideas for the next 14 challenges that are to come? When I started, I really scoped out the full 28 days and I wanted to cram in as much as I could uh, to teach uh, to teach you uh, how to go from fundamentals through body mechanics and into more advanced topics um, without being so overwhelming that it's so impossible to absorb or having one specific challenge that goes on for far, far too long. So. What I'd like to do now that we're at the halfway point is start shifting gears a bit to the more, more and more advanced stuff and outside of just the realm of body mechanics. We'll continue playing around with body mechanics a little bit, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna first go into like the Looney Tunes, super cartoony, exaggerated body mechanics, have some fun there, get some introduction then to uh, doing things like a head turn and a blink and uh, getting starting to get into the acting side of things. And that's where we're going to take it for the rest of the challenge. So we'll be doing some little pantomime, uh, some short pantomime challenges. Uh, we're going to try to keep them short so that they don't get too long in terms of the challenge length. And, uh, and the same is going to go for the monologue that will come after. We're gonna do very short uh, monologues and pantomimes, short little acting challenges to introduce you to it, ease you into it, 
uh, and then not have them go on too long. And hopefully all of that will really give you this um, good basis for springboarding into your own full on acting shots if you want those. You know, obviously if you're going to be a feature animator, uh, that's going to be your bread and butter. If you're going to be in VFX or maybe you're just doing in-game animations, you could focus more on the body mechanics stuff um, than, than spending too much time there. Lastly, how can you keep learning right now, you know, while you're waiting for these challenges to, to continue? Or uh, how can you just get serious if you're not even through the 14 challenges that are there right now? Well, as it happens, Rusty Animator School is starting a new term right now for the summer. Uh, the school uniquely adapts to you, wherever you're at right now, what your goals are, your struggles, your progress week to week for three months at a time. I've brought in several professional mentors as well as myself uh, that are in top studios to be teaching classes and, and they really give a damn about their student success. Also, class sizes are small so we can have a really big impact with every student. There's four students to uh, every class max, two hours for the class, so everyone is getting at least 30 minutes of critiquing time, if not more. Give you an idea of what kind of shots you can make. You can make shots like this. This. Or this. So you're kind of going anywhere from, uh, you know, building up your, your basics and body mechanics uh, to uh, going into game cinematics or uh, doing, doing acting clips. Uh, we can really go anywhere as we're adapting to you. Usually the school terms sell out before I can make them public as there's early enrollment for alumni and animators that sign up to the wait list first, they get priority. But at the moment, a mentor was able to teach another class, so I'm opening up five extra spots max for this term. Um, you can still hop into the, the wait list for free regardless, so if this term doesn't pan out for you, or if the spots are gone before you get a chance, uh, you can hop into the next term and hear about it before, uh, before the public does. And if you're curious about the school, there's a link in the description to check out all the details. If the school doesn't interest you or it's not the right time, no pressure, it's totally cool, it's all good. I just thought I'd mention it since you've been learning a lot through these 14 challenges and uh, you might be, you know, getting restless, sitting still, get, you know, wondering what to do. Also, if courses are more up your alley right now, you can also check out details on my Animation Fundamentals course. It's a great way to learn the basics and go really deep into that, deeper than we do in the challenges. Uh, or Body Mechanics Mastery for uh, really deep diving into body mechanics and Courses are really great for learning at your own pace, uh, especially if things are busy and you need to set like this schedule that you're not sure is gonna be good for live classes. So that's really the benefit there. Um, the school would provide more accountability and uh, a lot of quick answers and really valuable feedback that is just really consistent rapid fire. If the school and courses sound appealing to you, I'd love the chance to be able to help you out a lot more personally. Uh, get to know exactly where you're at so that I can lift your animation skills up even faster and get you an animation job. Uh, it's really why I do what I do. Um, I'm really passionate about helping animators uh, get there, especially if they've struggled before in the past. Outside of that though, I hope you're really excited about the, uh, the ideas for the next uh, 14 challenges. The fact that it's not over, the fact that we're going to continue. I really can't wait to get back in there with you guys making more challenges and, uh, and seeing what animations come from you on that end of things. So until then, happy animating and I'll see you soon in the next challenge.